everyone welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to download an NDVI image using Google Earth Engine and visualize using RGIS. So let's get started. So now let me explain about the NDVI image. So NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. It's a numerical indi indicator used in the remote sensing and satellite imagery analysis to assess and monitor the health and abundance of vegetation in a particular area. The NDVI is calculated using the reflectance value of the visible and near infrared light captured by remote sensors. So here you can able to visualize the formula for the NDVI. The NDVI equals to NIR that is near infrared minus red band divided by the near infrared band plus red band. So the NIR that is near infrared is the reflectance value in, uh, in the near infrared spectrum and red is the reflectance value in the red spectrum. So the NDVI value is typically ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 with the meaningful values falling between minus 0 0.1 and 0 0.9. The interpretation of NDVI value is as follow. The high negative value is that is minus 1 to uh, minus 0 0.1. These areas usually represent the water bodies or the surface with a little or no vegetation. The low value that is minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. These area might include the base soil, rocks or spare vegetation. The moderate value starting from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5. These value indicates the moderate level of vegetation cover such as grassland and herbland. And high values starting from 0 0.5 to 0 0.9, these areas are typically represent the dense and healthy vegetation such as forest or the cropland. So now to download NDVI image using Google Earth Engine and visualize using RGIS environment, first need to import our Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine. For that we defined a variable called L8 equals to double dot image collection Landsat collection 8 collection 1 tire 1 top of the atmosphere. So next to get a leaf, uh, cloud, you know, next to get an image with the least cloud contamination. So for that we define a variable called image 2015 equals to double e dot image l8 dot filter bound point. So here the dot filter bound point refers to the point function refers to the variable called point. So variable point refers to the polygon with four vertices that is represented here. So in order to acquire the Landsat 8 image of any study region we define a polygon around the specific study region. So we can draw a polygon by using the specific tool called draw a rectangle. By just clicking this you can able to draw a rectangle over the study region and which will automatically import our Landsat 8 image while we are running this code. So next we are going to filter with the specific timeline for that we define dot filter date 2015 January 1 to December 2015 December 31st. Next we are using dot sort cloud cover. So we are specifically using this function to get a uh, image with the least cloud contaminated image. Dot first image refers to the dot first function refers to to get an image with the least cloud contaminated image. And next to visualize the detail of the Landsat 8 image, we uh, redefine print image 2015 dot to float function. So next to compute a normalized difference vegetation index, we define a variable called NIR. So we are using specifically two bands that is NIR and red band. So NIR here represents NIR here represents a near infrared band and the red represents a red band. Let me show you that. So here you can able to visualize this is Landsat 8 image. It has around nine bands. We are specifically going to use a band 5 that is near infrared and the red band that is here band 4 and band 5. So now let me get back to uh, Earth Engine. So here you can visualize to compute a normalized difference vegetation index we defined a variable called NIR equals to image 2015 dot select band 5. So the band 5 here refers to near infrared band and similarly we define a variable called red equals to image 2015 dot select band 4. So the band 4 here refers to the red band and to compute this formula that is so the NDVI formula here refers to NDVI equals to NIR minus red divided by NIR plus red that is band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So we can able to visualize here the formula for NDVI. So that is band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So we are to uh, compute this uh, NDVI we defined a variable called NDVI 2015 equals to NIR dot subtract red dot divide NIR dot add red and dot rename as NDVI. So to, the, to display this result we define the map.center object image 2015 that refers to this specific variable that is the variable 2015. So 9 here refers to the zoom level and uh, so to compute uh, 
the visualization parameter, we define variable called NDVI params. The NDVI params refers to visualization parameter equals to with the minimum value of minus 1 and to the maximum value of plus 1. The color palette here varies from red, yellow and green. So starting from the lowest NDVI value to a highest NDVI value of green. So green represents the highest NDVI value which represents the forest and croplands, the healthy forest and croplands. So to next to add this layer into earth engine, we defined map.add layer in DVI 2015. So in DVI 2015 refers to this particular variable. So NDVI param refers to our visualization parameter, refers to this specific variable. And last to output the layer name as NDVI image 2015. So to add our Landsat 8 image, we define map.add layer image 2015. So image 2015 refers to this specific variable that is image 2015 that is our Landsat 8 image. So now to download, now to download the la, that is our NDVI image to our Google Drive, we define export.image.drive image NDVI 2015.to float function. So to avoid a flow, to avoid a whole numbers, we are specifically using the data type called float function. Next for description, we define NDVI image 2015. And the spatial resolution for the Landsat 8 image is around 30 meters. For that, we define 30 meters. Our region here refers to the point. There is a variable. This specific, this specific uh, variable is called the point. It is a polygon with four vertices. We define as a variable point. So next with the max pixel value, we set to 1 is to 10 power 13 as our max pixel value. So now let me run this code. So go, go to this option called run script and click run script. So now let me minimize it. So now we can able to visualize we have two different image. One is of Landsat 8 image and second is the NDVI image. So now let me make some changes to our Landsat 8 image. Go to the option called uh, this particular option. Select 2, 3 and 4 and select the custom as stretch 2 sigma and apply. So you can arrange this band, uh, you can have different false color composite. Now let me make a true color composite. 4, 3 and 2 and apply the stretch, a uh, custom as stretch sigma 2 and apply. So now you can able to visualize the true color composite of our Lancer 8 image. So now we can able to visualize our true color composite. Similarly, we can visualize our NDVI image. So now let me turn off my polygon boundary. So go to this option and you can click this button. It gets turned off. So now we can able to visualize here. The high dense green here represents our the agricultural land and the forest. And similarly, the color here that is an yellow and reddish color represents the water body. So you can able to visualize the water body is being represented in this specific color. So you can visualize this is the water body. The water body is being uh, represented in yellowish uh, red color and similarly the vegetation has been represented in the dense green color. So this is the flow direction of uh, water that is a river. You can able to visualize that. So you can able to visualize towards eastern part of the study region has a lower vegetation compared towards the western part of the region. So western part of the region has a very high NDVI value indicating a higher forest, uh, forest or agricultural areas compared to the eastern part of the region eastern part of the region now let us download this image download this image and visualize in our arcgis environment goes to uh, go to the task section so now we can able to visualize there is an option called ndvi image 2015 so now let me click this option called run so now a new window has been popped up saying ex uh, initiate an image export the task name is ndvi image 2015 epsg 3857 spatial resolution of 30 meters so we're going to export to our drive so you can also try in the glue to, uh, cloud storage and uh, earth engine assets so now i'm going to export to uh, our drive that is our google drive so you can also enter your folder the file the file name will be in dvi image 2015 and geotiff so it's going to be in the geotiff file format so now let us run this code click this option called run So now we can able to visualize here. We have our NDVI image of 2015. I have already downloaded my one of this NDVI image 2015. So it took me around six minutes to uh, export to my Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize in the task section. That is, we have our submitted task. The NDVI image of 2015 has been exported to our Google Drive. So now let me open my drive. 
So we can able to visualize, let me open my drive. So this is my drive section. So now let me refresh it. So now we can able to visualize, we have our NDVI image of 2015. So now let me download this, right click and click this option called download. So now we can able to visualize, I'm gonna save this file called NDVI image 2015. So now let me save this. So the NDVI image is around 45 MB. So now let me open in RGIS environment. So now you can able to visualize this is an RGIS software, RGIS desktop. So now let me uh, add this file into RGIS. So to add the NDVI image into RGIS, go to the option called add, add data. So now you can able to visualize we have our NDVI image. So this is our, this is our NDVI image I've saved in the folder, the Google Earth Engine. So now let, let me click this and click this option called add. So now click this option to create a permit for NDVI image 2015, yes. So image is getting exported to our RGIS. So now we can able to visualize this is our NDVI image. We have downloaded from Google Earth Engine. So we have the range starting from minus 0 0.62 plus 0 0.8. So now let me add some uh, color variation to it. So click this option. So now you can uh, select your color RAM. So now I'm also going to select the specific uh, color RAM to it. Uh, let me uh, select this. So now I'm going to select the specific color RAM. So I have selected this color. Let me click OK. So now you can able to visualize the high values that is here indicated that is 0 0.8 indicated in blue color. All the blue color indicates a very high NDVI value. And comparatively, the low value that is minus 0 0.6 here represents the water body. So you can now visualize here. So this specific region will represent the water body of the study region that is indicated in, in a yellow color. And similarly, the high NDVI value here represents our forest land and the agricultural land that is indicated in blue color, which is shown in the here in the high value of 0 0.8. So in this way, you can able to download the the NDVI image, that is you can download the NDVI image from Google Earth Engine and you can visualize using ArcGIS environment. So now let me get back to Earth Engine. So in this video, I have shown you how to download the NDVI image using Google Earth Engine and visualize using ArcGIS environment. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.